Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to return back to Poland and take a look at one of their military single meals. Now this particular one is the SR2. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. So as you can see and now I've here on the table this Polish single meal SR2 and this particular one it says on the list of uh, contents there is meat with buckwheat groats it seems to be in English Polish and French now I've seen these a few times before now I've had quite a few all different menus they come in a standard green plastic pack very similar to the Lithuanian and the US MREs single meal no easy open tear strip this particular one is best before the 7th 22 so still well in date so I need to bring in my friend just to cut across the back there and see what this pack actually contains so straight off the bat there's an impressive looking set of contents straight off the bat we have the standard Polish flameless ration heater in a little heating sleeve to keep everything nice and insulated we have a simplistic single spoon and napkin there is um, what I believe to be a luncheon meat another luncheon meat there we have the mains which is meat meat and buckwheat we have dig deep two packs of the world famous infamous SU-1 hardtack armor plate repair plates very hard not my favorite had so many of them now I really wish that they would change those but here they are again we have what I think is dried fruits some freeze dried fruit we have a drinks powder an isotonic drinks powder drinks concentrate we have a drinking straw there is the little single accessory pack containing gum, salt and pepper a couple of candies some more tissues a wet nap and some spare bags for spares or rubbish and last but not least we have a little fruit and cereal bar so this is the contents of this single meal Polish SR2 so let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like and so, as you can see, and now I've here laid out on the tray, the contents of this Polish SR2 single meal. Now I've done a little bit of preparation already. I've um, pre-boiled or preheated the mains, which is uh, meat with groats and pearl barley. Um, but I still need to do a little bit more. Uh, before I do, I think I'll just open the little accessory pack that came with this particular menu. Nice little tear notch there. So, I've had many of these before, the Polish rations. Uh, starts off with a couple of, or a single large spare Ziploc bag, obviously for spares or for the trash and rubbish. There is a, another napkin, tissue, TP, or whatever need first arises. We have a wet nap, might need that in a bit. There is the standard salt and black pepper sachets don't know if I need them and a selection of sweets and candies including an orange vitamin C candy the standard what I see in all of their rations now the coffee candy and some mint xylitol gum so let's put those down there for a the moment moving on from that the next thing that needs a little bit of preparation is this lemon drink, the isotonic drinks powder. There is no coffee, so it's just a cold drink today. Now obviously, usually, 
you're meant to mix these in the pouch so there's a little tear open strip and resealable yeah. but because I have and because I can I'm going to use a glass so it's a nice fine powder there so I'm going to pour that into the glass makes for demonstration better as well and it asks for I don't know if you can see there on the line 250 millilitres of water so this is a about a 300 millilitres of glass so I'm just going to about three quarters fill about three quarters fill the glass that should be somewhere near 250 or near enough to make no difference a good stir I'll just bring that down to one side a little bit um, where should we go now I think we'll have a look at the dried fruits so these are mixed dehydrated fruit mix again in a resealable pack keep them all fresh so it's a, a dry mix of fruit just empty a couple of those out of there See if we can get one of the cherries. It's a good selection. I've not got everything out there. But that is about half the pack. Maybe a little bit less than half. But there's a good selection of fruits in there as you can see. Move up to one side. We also have the apricot and fig cereal bar. Again, okay. many before, many of these before. Always come sandwich between a little bit of edible rice paper, just put that to one side there we have some luncheon meat so this is pork and beef it is actually mainly 75% I think pork 19% beef but it is a very simple looking luncheon meat there now anyone that watches my videos regularly would know these are my nemesis the SU-1 hard tack pantser plate, armour plate, crackers. Now I've had many Polish rations. The mains are always or usually good. These though, that, that in my opinion, they need to sort these out. There's no need in modern age to make biscuits like the old Napoleonic hard tack ship's biscuits. But there we go. So I'll just open one of those. Teeth breakers. Put those to one side. And last but not least, let's take a look at the um, meat with groats and pearl barley. So I have pre-warmed it. It still seems to be in a bit of a gelatinous lump there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour it into a bowl just to break it up and help separate it a little bit. Mate, just put that in the bin there and it doesn't look very appetizing straight off the bat but the smell is good there's a good smell there is some huge chunks there of meat see peas see carrots barley meat chunks certainly certainly looks like it's a filling meal just wipe my hands there so, where do we start? I think I'll start where I normally like to start and take a look at the drinks. There is only this lemon isotonic drinks powder, so I'll have a little taste of that. Mm -hmm. Very mild, um, slightly acidic. You get to that draw on the cheeks, you know you're drinking something like a lemon. Not a natural lemon, that is an artificial lemon, but it's tasty, it's refreshing, you can feel the electrolytes, you can feel there's a powder in there, there's something in there doing you good. Nice, refreshing mouth cleanser. So, I think I'm going to go straight to the mains. Now this is meat with groats and pearl barley, so I'm going to go straight for a mouthful of the pearl barley first. Mm -hmm. very lightly seasoned 
quite dry. Again, this is one of those dishes that would have been good fried. Now, the rations that come with a um, cooker, a stove, I fry these now to give it its best option. But this did come with an FRH, so I've, I've boiled it in water. So it would be similar to using a flameless ration heater. So this is how the troops would get it. Soft, basic seasoning, um, barely seasoned. There is large chunks of meat. That is a huge piece if I put that in my mouth. There's no way I'm going to be able to talk, so I should break that in half. It broke nice and easy. <laughs> the meat is cooked, it's stringy, you do need um, teeth to chew it, um, but not overly difficult to chew, it's nice and soft, it comes apart in your mouth. Very simplistic, very basic flavours, but a filling, wholesome, tasty dish. Let's refresh my palate there. Again, I've seen these many times before. The SU1 hardtack crackers. A few caraway seeds in there. And I've said on all my videos, personally, I find these can break your teeth if you're not careful. I prefer to just snap them into little bite-sized pieces and let your back teeth do the work as opposed to your front ones. So, little pieces I find more manageable. Plain, simple, white wheat, extremely hard baked cracker, few caraway seeds. Does make a good additional bulking agent to food this particular dish it has so many groats and meat chunks, I don't think you really need them. But, it does go well. There's a bit of extra crunch and background extra calories. Now have a look at this luncheon meat. This is pork and beef, but the percentage of pork is much higher than the beef. And I read the ingredients. So it's like a malt loaf, uh, sorry, a meat loaf texture, a typical luncheon meat style texture we have here in the UK. But much less salted, much less salt to a spam. So it's a very similar texture to a spam or a British luncheon meat, but much less salt. It is much lighter on the seasoning. I'm going to try a little bit with a bit of cracker and snap that off. I'm not going to have the two together. Mm -hmm. Good filling, bulking agent. Would go with the mains. Although the mains has that much meat in it in this occasion, I don't think it's necessary. So it would go mixed in with the mains. Both are slightly under seasoned in my opinion. Um, salt and pepper would help, but a little bit of addition of a little hot sauce would be a much better improvement, I think, for that dish. Fresh my palate. Now moving along to some of the sweeter items, have a look at a piece of strawberry, I think that's a cherry, a bit of pineapple, a bit of apple, so a lot of fruit here, a lot of dry dehydrated fruits, I'm going to start off with a bit of strawberry. Not sweetened, that's just the natural sweetness of the berry. I've had these a few times before and the texture always surprises me. It goes in your mouth like a piece of polystyrene, but then as you chew it mixed with your saliva, it turns back into a little piece of pulped fruit. It's a weird, weird but pleasant experience. So that was strawberry. A little bit of, I think that was pineapple. 
little bit of what might be apple. Mm -hmm. Cherry. Mm. All natural flavoured. Nothing's extra sweetened. You've got the sweetness or the bitterness of the fruit you're eating. Some are slightly bitter, a bit sour. But it does turn back into the fruit as a pulp in your mouth. Nice, enjoyable fruit mix. And have a look at this apricot um, and fruit bar. So again, eat it with the paper. I have it in the past tried to peel the paper off, but it is pointless. Just enjoy with the paper. Very simplistic flavours again. Slight apricot. A little bit of grain background. Surprisingly underwhelming. A little addition of some jam on this. Would have improved it, but it's a fibre rich, sweet, chewy, another piece of energy boost. There's certainly plenty of calories, plenty of calorific value in this meal. Slightly under seasoned, in my personal opinion. Everything here could do with a little lift, but it's, it's perfectly edible, enjoyable. Nothing in toward. Now, I've had these many car times before. Hard candies, vitamin C, the sort of thing that you can buy in any store around the world. So I'm not going to open that one um, because the things that might, most people might think are different are the coffee sweet. So this is a hard candy, vitamin C laced, orange flavour. Buyable, purchasable anywhere around the world, I'm sure. Similar sort of items. So I'm going to have a look at the coffee one, which seems to be a bit more unique to the Polish rations. So... It's a coffee flavoured hard candy, a little dark hard candy, pop in your mouth there, instant hit of coffee flavour, strong, flavoursome, enjoyable taste of coffee, it is an hard candy, if you've got good teeth, good dental health, you could crunch down on it. But it would risk even the strongest of teeth. It's the sort of candy you just need to suck until it dissolves slowly in your mouth as you walk along. But it's a nice, coffee rich, tasty, flavoured, sweet. Now, the xylitol gum. Most people have seen these before. Two little briquettes. I should only just have one for now. So, just standard little mint gum. Mm. Plenty of flavour. Nice, crisp shell. Medium firm gum. But it's an excellent, excellent mouth cleanser, mouth freshener. Last but not least, we'll have a look, look at the wet nap. Oops, dropped it straight in the mains. So, standard looking paper wet nap. Let's see if we can get it open there. Not particularly strong. Has a slight lemon cleaning agent sort of smell to it. Sort of kitchen cleaner smell. Not overly wet, just moist. Leaves a slight scent on your hands momentarily, which soon goes, soon dissolves. Just adequate, not the wettest, not the strongest, but it will be adequate just to freshen your hands. So, overall, on this particular occasion, not over inspiring with tastes and flavours. Everything is just about, in my opinion, just seasoned enough, but could improve with a little extra seasoning but certainly large chunks of meat certainly a stomach filler you would know you've eaten a bowl of that combined with the luncheon meat 
and all the other sundry items you'd certainly have a very filling very enjoyable meal so I'm going to leave it here thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you goodbye